Well, it is snake bite season. On the Health Watch tonight, the Philadelphia Partnership to provide the best care for a venomous snake bite. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is mm. here to explain. Can you believe it? Yikes. Yikes, it happens. Oh. You know, venomous snake bites happen both from pets from pet snakes and in nature with something like a rattlesnake. And that usually leads calls to the Poison Control Center in Philadelphia. And they work with the zoo that has snake experts and anti-venom. Some people just like them, snakes for pets, even something like this giant cobra. People have a fascination with snakes and especially venomous snakes. Dr. Kevin Osterhout with the Poison Control Center at CHOP says they're not frequent, but they do get calls about snake bites, more in the summertime. Venomous snake bites are a problem in Pennsylvania, both from the venomous snakes that we have that live here, but also because sometimes people will have exotic venomous snakes from other countries as pets. Those are among the snakes that are on exhibit at the Philadelphia Zoo, where they're safely kept behind glass. This is a male forest cobra. And how dangerous is this snake? Uh, venomous, so it's dangerous for sure. Jason Bell, the animal operations manager at the zoo, says there's never been a venomous snake bite at the zoo because of the extensive training and safety precautions, but they're prepared just in case. The snakes that we have, we have the anti-venom, which is essentially an antidote, you know, against the anti-venom for all the snakes that we have here. We order it from um, the country of origin of the snakes. There isn't a generic anti-venom. It's specific to each snake. The zoo shares its supplies with area doctors when there's a bite in the community and has a partnership with the Poison Center. So we can work together to provide the best care. Venomous snake bites can cause a variety of problems, including swelling, bleeding, and difficulty breathing. People in the United States usually survive when quickly treated with appropriate anti-venom. So our Pennsylvania native snakes are timber rattlesnakes, copperheads. Uh, some of the exotic snakes that we most commonly encounter here are people with cobras as pets, with puff adders as pets, with bush vipers as pets, and gaboon vipers. Imagine. You know, there are some counties where having these venomous snakes is illegal, but regulations are sporadic. Now, fatalities from snake bites are rare in the United States, but worldwide, there are as many as 2 million venomous snake bites every year and as many as 100,000 deaths from them. Wow. I'm not sure why somebody would want to have a no. venomous snake as Thank a pet, but you. it's clearly dangerous and shouldn't be done. We get that word out there. It shouldn't be done. That's the truth. Right, <laughs> Go to the zoo. The zoo has at least 50. Right. That's well, right. Yeah, if you well, like that, that right. and then leave. Uh, we found a big snake skin in our yard this weekend. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Like, I'm not coming over. <laughs> I'm going to that uh, neighborhood. No barbecue.